I just received my VRD2 diversity goggles from Ishin. But high hopes for these, so let's see if they meet up with expectation. A little bit dinged. Cord, antenna, antenna, battery, nice and small, 2200 milliamp hour, that's kind of nice. And the goggles. Wipes, and teeny little instruction manual. Okay, here's what you get. Goggles nice, pretty lightweight, which is kind of nice. We got the, uh, the lens adjustment there. To me, that looks still a bit far back. But we'll see. The battery, it'd be nice to put in a balance charger there. I'll probably do that. Peel it back and solder that on. The antenna and the charger that looks just like a DC. That looks just like a DC charger there. Probably get something better than that reasonably comfortable. Uh, I have fairly narrow face so I'm finding I'm getting quite a bit of light leakage here and here and my forehead is just mostly pressing there. Um, so I probably will build, peel this off and build something a little more comfortable for my face. I've got lots of lots of room in the nose. Uh, there is some light leakage here so I'll probably fill that up. I find also that the slide on the side adjusts the focus which is kind of nice but I don't really think they gave quite enough adjustments coming out. With it all the way to the front, it's pretty blurry uh, for me, and I, I've got pretty good eyes, so this not a, shouldn't be a problem. Even the camera's having a hard time focusing that. You can see in the corner there, the AV-1. Up, up close, it's not too bad. I can focus on it, but it's not as comfortable as I'd like. I'll probably adjust it, or I'll probably modify it so it can come just a little bit closer. And that'll probably help. Um, even when I, if I build uh, an eyepiece or a face plate, might bring it out just a hair and that'll probably help as well. This is sort of a design flaw with these things. that They always make them focus too close for some reason. And this is a really strange thing. The writing seems to flicker back and forth between green and red. I'm not sure why this is, but I'm not sure if that's a bug or if there's some kind of a weird connection problem, but that's really distracting. So we'll find out how it is how it is for the actual flying, but if that is going on, that's not going to be good. It's almost seizure inducing. Even the DVR menu has a slight tremor to it. It's not flashing, but it's just kind of vibrating a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Strange little quirk to take note of. If I turn the power off, it turns the screen off, but the display is still on. So it is still going to use some here battery if the power is off. Odd. This guy changes the input between AV1 and AV2. AV2, I believe, is the DVR. Um, and I've heard, I've read that other people have had problems if it's on D AV2, going through the DVR, there's a delay. But if you keep it on AV1, there's not. I was hoping this was going to be a bit of a plug-and-go solution for me. Uh, I've got the DIY Banggood goggles, and I put a fair amount of work into those, and I really like them. They're great. But I was hoping this was going to be sort of a, it would just work right off the bat. But I am going to have to put some work into it, it seems. Other than that, it seems okay. Yeah, there's a nice big Fresnel lens. And just your typical little panel panel screen there. Looks like the display buttons are on this guy, so I may or may not be able to switch those two channel buttons and the channel and the frequency button, which might be unfortunate because I was kind of hoping I could do that. We will see. Other than that, not really much to it. Pretty simple over just a box with a screen. Like the DVR is actually on a separate board there, which is kind of nice. So if you did want to change it, you can do it. That kind of looks like one of the diversity uh, RX 
808, 5808 Pro boards a little bit. So I'm kind of wondering if you can replace the firmware on this thing to have uh, frequency band scanning. That would be really nice because it doesn't seem to have that right now. I just wanted to put some of the video here just to see. I, I'm not sure why I'm getting some static. Uh, there's a bit of a drop out there a second ago. It seems to be more static than there should be. I'm using a QX90 and I'm actually holding it so uh, it didn't seem to be that much static before so maybe there's something wrong with my antenna. As you can see, it's not too bad. I lose a little bit of quality, but not much. I've got it on the, the HD setting. The, the regular setting is quite a bit smaller and actually looks like it's got about the same amount of static, so definitely I would just leave it on the HD setting. 